Let's do them. <laughs> All right, Marco Fumas, let's do it. Don't don't be nervous. That's it's so good. fine. It's so good. Just let the car do the talking. Yep. This thing is loud in so many ways. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. Okay, so I literally flew from LA just now and I came from the airport to here basically straight and we're already featuring awesome GTRs. This thing is so crazy. Thank you. I don't even know. Okay, where, where do we even begin? I guess we should All start right. on the paint. Yeah, so the paint is a PPG Halleck 3D. So obviously it's um, chameleon colors. So it goes from orange to purple and green. So it's unique color, you can say. Normally the boys do the purple and green. I went to a different, you know, special it, look. Yeah, it's it's like uh, inspired a little yeah. bit by Midnight Purple yeah. 2 and 3, yeah. but it is... It's kind of so combined them together. Different. It's so much lighter, yeah. but it changes so drastically. Yeah, so it's not really on your face, but it's on your face. So, yeah. so and then, yeah, basically just come up with. So it took us five months to get the, the right color. So I wasn't too happy on the beginning, and then you just keep changing and perfection. Nice. And today's, yeah, the car's been featured here three times already. We win two of them. Best GDRs, paint, uh, body work. Um, car of the show. Car of the show. So, yeah, and then back here again to see, enjoying the family. Okay, so then uh, how much is a liter of this paint? Uh, right now, I actually just bought it last week, two and a half thousand dollars a liter. Australian dollars. Australian. And how many liters do you need to paint this? To paint that, we use 24 liters because it's the whole car. So, I, I, what's yeah. the math on that? Wait, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm just, I just I, wanna I'm do it. I'm even scared to see. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 2,500. Yep. Times 24. Yep. You spent 60,000 Australian? There you go. 60,000? Yeah. Oh, look what you got. You're ridiculous. I know. Well, 60,000 just, just on the, just the cost of the paint, yeah. that's not including labor no. to actually paint it. No. So, but you only live once, I guess. And I love the car and then, yeah, I build it the way, like I told you before, I build it for my spec. Yeah, so this is something that you built for yourself. Yep. Uh, it started as a 99. 99 model V-Spec. What Fun was the original color? Silver. Okay. So yeah, I actually bought that a week before my wedding, so I was good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at the engine bay. Yeah. Obviously, the theme goes from the outside to the inside. Yep. This... Um, it almost looks too crazy to be paint. It looks like a wrap. Yeah, a lot of people actually ask me the question if it's a wrap, and no, nah, it's a real thing, it's the real deal. And then so part of you spending all that money, 60,000 yeah. Australian, which is, I don't, I think it's about what, 40,000? 40, yeah, 40,000, 40, 45,000? Yeah, 45,000 US, 42,000 US, yeah. but Part of it is also because you painted the valve yeah, cover the Yeah, so same. basically we paint the whole engine bay, like now the top cover's on the same color. Uh, the brake system is on the same color as well, if you can actually have a look. And the is it heat resistant enough? Yeah, it's heat resistant, thank God for that. Yeah, so the engine obviously have to come off and everything above. Even here we paint the same color. So we've got little details and things like in other trucks. Just like on the Kansai service yep. bar. So then, I see the firewalls painted, the interior, yep. or, or the engine bay, the tub. Yep. Where else does it go? It's the core support? Yeah, core support. Basically, the whole car, the whole engine was stripped out, and then we just go, you know what? Just hit it. Just do it properly. So the whole car is painted. Okay, so then how, like, what about behind, underneath yeah, the fenders? Yeah, all painted. All of it? All of them. For no reason? For no reason. Just Wait, so then the door jams? Yep, everything. Full, full paint job. No enclosed doors or anything like that. It was a full car. I am so blown away. <laughs> full color change. Yep. This is so cool. 
Lagos. Okay. And then, of course, um, not only is <laughs> the appearance of this crazy, the engine yep. is is insane too. What are we looking at here? All right, so this is the Lagos VCAM uh, Step 2 that we just filled in. We got HKS 62Rs. So apparently that's the biggest single HKS it can get on the market. And then basically this car is pure HKS with Tom Heads applying in now. So we put a brand new Tom Heads on. So this is a 2.8 liter? Yeah. No, that's 2.6 liter. Oh, okay. 2.6 liter. Yeah. And how much power are you making? So we just did the dyno just three days before we got here. It got 610 kilowatts on the wheels on and the hopper dyno. So transfer that to horsepower. Around 900 to 1,000. And how much torque? Uh, it was 1,300. 1,300 foot-pounds torque. Yeah. So Out of know, a 2.6 liter. Yep. So probably one of the most powerful 2.6 liter, I'll say in SA. I can say Australia was, but in SA, yeah. And Japanese mortgage port, we actually built that from day one. This is just so crazy. You still have air conditioning? Yep. Oh. Yeah, oh, I do yeah. have a condition. Wow. That's one of the keys I said to him, because I actually take my kids on the car. Ah. I put baby seats on there. So I say I want a reliable car with air conditioning and powerful. You got a, a little a fun little, secret. Yeah, we got a little surprise happening here. But it is just a little just audition. A little. Just a little to audition to the family. A little extra power. Yeah, just to help the turbo kicks in a little bit faster. Uh -huh. As being like not big, a single turbo, you always need a little bit of juice to help out. Right, so it's not so much for maximum No, power. no, no, no. no it's, well, it's just to get it up there. Yeah, just to get it up a little bit quicker than normal. Yeah. When, so, when the sun comes out on it, it's just yeah, it so does. crazy. Yeah, like I said to you before, even a blind person can probably see that one. <laughs> <laughs> This but is yeah. just insane. The brakes too are yep. just huge. Yeah, that's R35 brakes. I love, I love it. Love the wheel setup too. Yeah, that's the 20s. Really, really nice. Interior, surprisingly, is pretty stock, huh? You yeah, I left on as it is. I tried to leave the stock as I can inside, considered like, you know, as I say, I got my kids in the car as well, so try to make it more comfortable for them. And eventually one day I'll put that on the truck. We're waiting for sequentials and when the sequential is on and then we have some more fun. So cool. I absolutely love it. Can we take it for a spin? Of course. Actually, can you turn it on so I can hear it? Yep. We'll let it warm up. In what is the name of this? Nice. Nice. Okay, so we're in the nice uh, R34 GTR V spec. We're gonna go for a little street cruise. This may be the most powerful RB26. RB26. Well, this is definitely the most powerful Skyline that I've ridden in. I think. Kind of curious. I'm sure it makes all the right noises. Well, it already sounds so crazy, man. The funny thing is, if you were sitting in here, you wouldn't even think that it's that crazy. We'll be back. <laughs> we're coming back. <laughs> Bro. 
<laughs> it sounds like an airplane. I know. It's, <laughs> it's not bad, huh? It sounds so crazy. It's not bad for a little baby R26. <laughs> I, I'm... All right, that's pretty cool. It sounds so good. It sounds different. That turbo is so loud. Yeah. That whistle is just, it's, it's, it's different. Yeah. It yeah, that's the really, really hatch gas. Cool. Hatch, hatch gas does a lot of nice things. I see that, yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. And it's a daily drive. It's got air condition. It's got everything. It has all the amenities. What yeah. else do you need? Um, I need the sequential next. Will be our next so goal. So what, what kind of sequential are you going to put in? Are we going to put a um, Albinus or potentially the PP, PPG one? See what we can get, and then there, yeah, and then put that on the truck. Driving this around, where, where are you from? Uh, Adelaide, so from South Australia. South Australia. When yeah. you're driving this around South Australia, what do people say to you? Um, is it like normal or is it pretty rare to see uh, one of these? Uh, they think I'm crazy, stupid, <laughs> the rich boy because it's obviously it's not cheap. But yeah, and no, a lot of people like it. Um, yeah, we always get the attention. Yeah. As you can see from the color, the noise, the power. So it's very rare to see a RB26 making 600 kilowatts. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's it's That's different. Awesome. It's a nice little different car. And, and then, so what in, engine management is it? The what? What kind of engine management? What ECU is it? Ah, uh, it's got a link. Okay. On Link so we got a link in on that, the 4G plus. Got it. Um, yeah, so and all the rest is all Moltec. It, it it's it really is pretty tame for something that makes this much power. Yeah. Like you drive it on the street, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty normal. So cool. But I got a surprise for you. What's that? You'll be driving back. <laughs> okay. Oh shit! <laughs> all right. I'm excited. I'm scared, but I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you'll oh, be fine. Man, that is crazy. At least you can say you drove. How'd you get out? Yeah. I drove a, a, a electric Nismo Aurora today, which is the complete opposite. opposite. So tame daily driver and then I'm going to jump into something that probably has 10 times the horsepower probably I don't know probably maybe at least at least that much in, in torque all right I'm going to jump into the driver's seat this is crazy oh jeez You'll be fine. Clutch-wise, it's very heavy mm -hmm. and uh, very, it's got a, a nice beat into it. So Is you, it a single plate or? No, four plates. Four plate? Yeah. The more plates, the better, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is so badass. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Sorry. Ah. The tone is crazy. Yeah. Oh, the boys did a good job. They did a really good job. <laughs> this is so cool. Built a nice car. Yeah, no, we took 
it nine years, but no. Is that how long it. you've had it? Nine years? No, I had it for eleven years. But and then. That sounds so good. Yeah, no, no. That's a Tom exhaust, four inch pipe. And the brakes are really nice at times. Yeah. They feel really good. Well, you need to have a big brakes for yeah, big power. Yeah, they feel very grabby. I can't believe the turbo noise. It's overwhelming is yeah. what it is. <laughs> it's the loudest thing. It's louder than the exhaust, yeah. louder than everything. It's a full package. So then what does it rev out to then? 10. 10? Yeah. Have you taken this down the quarter mile then? Uh, not yet. We're waiting for the gearbox because we now we're gonna break. Okay, got <laughs> it. You don't want to break the stock gearbox. No. Nah, yeah. So we're gonna put a proper sequential on and then. Because you're, if you launch it, you're gonna launch it all wheel drive. Yeah, and then we'll just snap the, yeah. the gearbox. So. Got it. So, so that's the only thing restricting us to put on the track now is the gearbox. Yeah. Right now we're definitely gonna pull one. Yeah, it's relatively tame. Yeah, it's when like you're a, driving it slow. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a factory jigger. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> once the boost builds up, it's yeah. it's pretty crazy. Yeah, for the size turbo, it's pretty reliable. Yeah. Yeah, it's different to the Sydney boys. They all got big engines, and you know, they got the 3.2s, 2.8. I try to keep simple. Brakes are crazy. Yeah, they're pretty good. Can I just give it a little yeah, bit in first gear? Jeez. That is no joke. No. <laughs> It's so loud. <laughs> Have you ever ridden in your own car? No, first time. There you go, it's, it's always full time for everything, huh? It's a little weird. Yeah. Actually, the first one that drove apart from the mechanic. Thanks, right. boss. Don't do that up there. All right. Oh, we're going to trouble now, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apart from you and my mechanic now, they're the only people that actually drove there. Well, he did a great job. Yeah, thanks to Japanese Burger Sport, so Phil did a great job. So now uh, that we've uh, pissed off the guys at... Yeah, on uh, a gate. <laughs> at the gate. <laughs> um, thanks for letting me drive this. This You're thing welcome. is so cool. I mean, I, the funny thing is I have one of these cars, but it's not even the same car at all. It's like no, not even the same league. Yeah, they all, they all got their own unique drivability and... Yeah, it's different. This is turned into a supercar, basically. Yeah. I mean, it, it honestly, it has supercar looks. Yep. It has supercar performance. Yep. And it's still a 34 GTR. <laughs> so cool. Wow. Thank you so much for showing. You're welcome. This. Thanks for letting me drive this. Yeah. And I'm, you have your first sticker. Yeah. On <laughs> the first GTR in Australia. Yeah, my my sticker made it on here. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.